Can I leave, please? <laughs> Welcome to Night People. I am Thickbit Gaming, and we're going to play a short horror game today. A swindler got away with 25k. The police pursued him, and to escape, he decided to hide in an abandoned building. Days later, the swindler's body was found. But his head and the money were not. The protagonist of this game decides to visit the abandoned building and find the money. Well, I don't think the creator is a native speaker. It was understandable, but a little bit strange. But I've definitely seen worse. Okay, we are just thrown into a very rundown building. Looks great. Even if the number of windows is a little extreme. And I think the dirt on the wall is just copy pasted. No, it doesn't matter. I've seen worse. It's the dark. Oh, great. Anything else? Is this a door? I'd love to have a flashlight. God, this game gets dark at times. Oh. We have electricity and... A swinging light bulb. Either it's demons or there's a strong air draft in the house. Oh great, attention. Information is requested on any member of the Bendor family. They live in abandoned places and have only been seen at night. It is known that they have formed a cult called the Night People, where they practice cannibalism, witchcraft and satanism. Isn't Satanism and Witchcraft usually interconnected? And eh, not my problem. Okay. Not continuing that way. Great. A hallway opened up. I wasn't able to see if there was a door at that spot. Or I wasn't able to make out for sure that that was a door. But seemingly it is, and somebody opened it for us. Great. I want a flashlight. I hate this place. It's too dark. I worry about every corner. If that doesn't look like eyes, I can't get to that. What the hell is that? And... Is that a body? Is that an animal with a human head? Interesting. I don't know why you did that, but interesting. Oh, thank god the flashlight. Why did the music change? Oh, it was just the sound cue. That doesn't illuminate anything. Wasn't the corpse there? Yep, that corpse is definitely gone. And now I'm gonna take a look at what the light What the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm... I'm leaving. I'm gone. No amount of money is worth it. To stay in here. And naturally I don't have a choice. Uh, 
hate it. This game is going to make me jump a lot, I think. And where are those eyes from earlier? Oh. This just connects to the start. That's lame. Still, I would love to open some of the doors. Oh, this is a dead end. I need to go upstairs. Great. Not very interesting if I'm running around in circles. Still, how can I be so desperate that I'm not running away at this point? Okay, just a dark hallway. <laughs> okay, giant wolf. Lovely. Just a bunch of cultists on hooks. Now, okay, those are probably victims. I don't think I should take that money. 10k, that should be enough. But how much do we want to bet if I go to the door that's not gonna do anything? Oh, there are. There yeah, are the eyes. That is a person or a thing. Hi. You look lovely. Get away from it. The sound of this game is amazing. It works very well. The suspense it creates is, well, a big part on why the jump scares are so effective. Oh. Attention, a person associated with the Vendor family has been arrested. It is believed that he was a member of the Night People Code. During the interrogation, the individual matched the series of observed events, such as have such as having seen members of the Bendor family transform into dogs. Could you shut up? Reading is hard if you hear a dog barking into your ears that loudly. And wasn't there some kind of light around here? Oh, okay. This door was closed before this, I think. Can I leave, please? <laughs> and the bulb changed color. I hate it. I want out. I can't get out. Either it's the place where it was barricaded beforehand. Or it's downstairs. And I've got 25k. Leave the building. The key is in one of the apartments on the second floor. Come and get it. I'm gonna check out the first floor again. Just to be safe. Why would you trust the monster man? The monster family? To be truthful. 
No, wait. No, this is the flashlight room. So it's either the dog room or the eyeball. Dude. Also, why can't I just destroy one of the windows? The flashlight I picked up was massive and looked very sturdy. Oh well. I'm gonna die. Hey, doggy. Are you going to attack me? Okay, just disappeared. I want to be gone. The eyeballs are gone. So... If I take the key, is the door gonna close? No. <laughs> Who's laughing? I hate it. Why? Shift to... Okay. Just run. Seems I have a chance to leave. And I'm getting more to death. No clue if there was a chance to get away. Oh, great. Wait. Oh, it just puts me back to the beginning of the chase. Okay. Don't run to the door. Just continue on. I hate the noise, and I got away and am trapped. Sure, this feels safe. They didn't put me in the spot they wanted me to be. Not at all. Surely this is leading me outside and not to the giant wolf. Oh, it's an endless hallway. Why is it open now? This is so confusing. And why can't I run anymore? I am getting closer. For a moment I thought I would it would keep the distance. Oh. Oh. No, the shutter is still down. This was a waste of time. Why did they make the light appear? If they left it off, I wouldn't have turned around. I think that spot has a trigger for the howling. Or maybe it's on a timer. I'm getting closer to something, I think. Big fan. This is too long. Nah, it's not too long. It's building suspense for me, so... Why is there a room out for stun? Oh, yay. There's doggy. And the door. 
that I can use. The end. I expected me to fall into some kind of trap. I have to say this game was amazing, especially the sounds. Without the sounds it would have been maybe a third as scary. I had a great time, I really have to take a look and see if they have any other games, because I would really love to play more of their games. Oh well. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did like, comment or subscribe it would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!